Okay, folks, so we have a problem. My beloved Ego 21 inch self propelled lawnmower that I just love is not working. I went to mow the yard the other day. The yard is grown up and now my mower is not working. Um, before I try to get into the warranty aspect of how to get this fixed, I wanted to decide to see if I could figure out what was wrong with it myself. And I did notice something, and that is. Um, with the handles extended, let me just show you. If I push the button, nothing. Doesn't come on. But if I put the handle straight up and now do it, I can get it to come on sometimes. Let's see. Okay, there. But watch this. When I lower the handle, it shuts off. See that? On, off. On, off. So, that being said, I noticed there's some wires down in here that whenever this pivots, these wires are moving. So I figure there has to be a short in here. So my plan is to take this apart and see if there's a shorted wire right here and fix my problem and get this yard mode. So, let's start ripping into this thing. Oh. So I have absolutely no idea what I'm doing. Oh, there's lots of grass. Oh, no. Ugh. Great. Okay. Whatever. I need to figure out how to get this off. And it looks like there's a screw in here and a screw back here. And... Maybe those two screws can take this cap off. All right. It looks like some of these wires have gotten pinched right here um, in this, where this folds. I wonder if it works now. Nope. I guess we have to dig deeper. All right, that came off pretty easy with six screws. Now, I can definitely see all the connections here. It's kind of a mess in here. It seems like they'd have a little bit better wire management system. Looks like there's a, lim a switch here that has to be connected. Let's see. I wonder if it's this. I wonder if it's this limit. I wonder if it's this switch right here. It's like a safety switch. <laughs> okay. Um, come on. So I guess it's worth pulling this apart to see if this uh, switch up here is working properly. So let's see how hard it is to take this. Oh, be careful. There's, there's nuts on the back of these, so be careful. So when you pull this handle, it pushes this button down, which needs to push on that piece, which when you push the green button, it slides it in front of the switch. So that's what everybody said uh, can get messed up. This thing won't slide in front of the switch and engage this button right here. This seems to all be functioning right. Well, everything looked good inside of there. I didn't notice anything that switch seemed to be depressing properly. So, I don't think it's that. I wonder if there's another switch in here. Let's see. I don't want to come Oh, There's another secret one. Right there. Ooh, there is. 
Look at that. There's another one hidden in here. Okay, this one's backwards. So whenever the handle is in the right position, this switch is not pressed. So, okay, interesting. Okay, so I've been out here a little bit longer. I got back at it and I actually found the problem. It wasn't uh, this switch like I thought it was, but it's removed and it's bypassed now, so I'm not gonna put it back in. What it was, was this wire right here, which goes to this little switch, which is in the arm here to make sure you have it opened all the way before it works. There's a little switch in here with three wires that run down a little tube. And I found this kink in the tube right here. And what I did was I got my voltmeter and I checked each of those wires and I have a break in two of them. The blue and the red, they are not working. So to test it, I unplugged it and I put a little jumper wire here to see how that worked. And lo and behold, it comes on perfectly now with that jumper wire in there. So I think I found the problem. I'm just gonna jump that uh, plug there and call it good and put this thing back together. Um, I would not suggest doing this um, unless you kind of have an understanding of electronics and, and how to not hurt yourself because these are safety features the egos puts in there and unfortunately those wires all get bundled up right here and go into a place that pivots so it can cause a failure so let's get this jumper wire put in there solid and put this thing back together and get the yard mode okay What I had to do to troubleshoot this was a little bit of a pain and it got kind of complicated, but I finally got it figured out. Now I did remove a couple safety features that I don't recommend you doing from this machine. So now if you have the arms not fully extended, it will come on. That is a little bit dangerous. Also, if you have the handle folded, it will come on now. So. I have taken out two switches that I don't suggest you taking out, but if you do have a similar kind of problem, you saw what I did. Do what you want. Now, even though I did have a problem, even after about a year of owning this mower, it is still probably one of my favorite mowers I've ever had. I don't blame Ego. Um, maybe they can improve the little hinge system right there where the wires got jammed up. Maybe they were misrouted in mine. I don't know. It was under warranty, but because I'm a fix it kind of guy, I didn't want to go through the hassle of trying to get a new one replaced under warranty because my yard needed mowing. So that's how I fixed it. Your mileage may vary.